right, welcome back. Now, here's a shocking stats for you. Half of all South African adults are either overweight or obese, and around 50% of South African women will be obese by 2030. The Association for Dietetics in South Africa is currently highlighting this ahead of World Obesity Day, and it comes as global body, uh, rather also warning that uh, half the world will be obese by 2035. Now, ADSA President Maria van der Merwe joins us now to take us through some of these stats and uh, to unpack this problem in the country. Maria, thank you so much uh, for your time and good morning to you. I mean, how big is uh, of a problem, rather, is it in South Africa? Uh, and how big of a problem is obesity and being, you know, issues around being overweight, uh, do you think, in the country, is it? Thank you very much and thank you for the opportunity. The theme for this year's World Obesity Week is changing perspectives, talk about obesity. So thank you for this opportunity to do exactly that. We know in South Africa about two thirds, two out of every three women, adult females, are either overweight or obese. And while the statistics in men are slightly lower, it is still showing an increase over the last two decades. Our further concern is obesity amongst children is also on the rise with about 13 percent or one in eight children already being overweight or obese. Mm. So that is not only a concern for us in terms of uh, nutritional status, but acknowledging first that obesity is a disease, a disorder, and the treatment thereof requires a very complex intervention. So not only looking at obesity stats, but also considering that overweight and obesity contributes to a significant increased risk in developing non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, certain types of cancer, stroke, heart disease. And these conditions do not only impact on individuals, but also has a significant cost implication mm. for our health system, estimated at about 33 billion rand a year from the public health budget in terms of treating the disorders associated with obesity. Therefore, we have to consider not only obesity and overweight itself, but also the consequences thereof for each individual community and ultimately for us as a country. Maria, we're seeing stats here uh, showing that, uh, at least according to the World Obesity Atlas uh, of 2022, 50 percent of South African women will be obese by 2030. This is the highest predicted rate in Africa. Why are we seeing this number tearing more towards women than men? If we look at the causes of obesity, uh, we know a simple um, equation like calories consumed and calories used um, would underlie uh, the cause of obesity, overweight or obesity. But we need to understand what contributes to the energy we consume and what contributes to the energy we use. And that includes genetic factors, biological factors, social circumstances, um, economic circumstances, access and availability of food, um, as well as mental health and even how well we sleep. Mm. So if we consider that these underlying roots of obesity are very diverse and complex, it does start to explain why females are more affected than males. Um, so starting with genetic factors, um, it does seem like our um, female population and specifically also our African, black African female population are more prone to develop obesity. We can also consider an important factor in South Africa being that we are still having a challenge of a childhood underweight and undernutrition in childhood is also associated with obesity in adulthood. So while it seems contradictory, yeah. that is the reality and therefore such a concern and another reason why we cannot only look at addressing obesity in individuals or once it has occurred, but if we look at preventing obesity, mm -hmm. it is a variety of circumstances that needs to be considered, including, of course, the best start in life for infants and young children. Yeah. So with that being said, do we know of the South African Health Department's strategy in preventing and controlling obesity in the country? 
The Department of Health had a, a national strategy for uh, obesity um, prevention and control for the period 2015 to 2020, and there was a bit of a gap, but they have announced a, a draft strategy towards the end of 2022 that we are expecting to be um, finalized and approved soon for the period 2023 to 2028. A five year period. So, mm -hmm. in addition to the national strategy, we need to consider that it's not only from the health sector or the health department that we have um, interventions or need interventions. It needs to also cut across other sectors agriculture, economy, right. uh, education, um, etc. Yes. So, we also have other interventions from health, for example, labeling regulations. We've just seen new draft labeling regulations aimed at awareness amongst the public of what is in our food, warning against food that may be high in fat, high in salt, high in sugar, um, risks um, uh, of the intake of that being associated with increase in obesity and mm -hmm. overweight. So there are also other interventions aimed at that uh, intention to also regulate the advertisement of certain food stuff to young children to avoid the commercial influence. So yes, we have a strategy that will soon be implemented, um, but we also look at other interventions, including, of course, also the health promotion levy mm -hmm. or the so-called sugar tax that we have seen implemented over the last five years or so. Well, Maria, I appreciate you speaking to me this morning because I know equally important to you is demystifying and debunking some of the myths and misconceptions around uh, obesity and uh, this conversation definitely helping a lot uh, as, of course, observe World Obesity Day tomorrow on the 4th of March. All my thanks to Maria van der Merwe, President of the Association for the Dietetics in uh, South Africa, talking more about uh, the problem that they've identified due to research around uh, obesity in the country affecting more more women uh, than men, it seems 50%, according to stats here, showing that 50% uh, of South African women will be obese by 2030. But there are strategies and interventions uh, that, of course, put in place uh, to help try and mitigate this problem.